For more great content, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. Only two left. Can they stop a PSG? I don't think they can. GQ's got his over. GQ. It's over. GQ. They've done it. They have done it. Team spirit. They come in the ground finals. Two games to nothing. The Champions League game three. Spirit will, will come down in Dota history as probably the best underdog story that we've ever seen. Up until very recently, Team Spirit had only fantasized about competing at Dota 2's most prestigious event, the International. They were never the strongest team in the CIS region, or even in their own country. But this group of young, inexperienced, and unknown players narrowly qualified for TI and never looked back. What a story, what a road, what a dream here that they've achieved, the spirit! Against all expectations, they lifted the iconic Aegis of Champions. They took home $18 million and they etched their names in the Dota history books forever. This is the rise of Team Spirit. From their formation in December of 2015 through to December 2020, Team Spirit could be categorized by one word. Average. I mean, I think they were always kind of like the meddling B tier team. They were always there participating in like qualifiers or tournaments. They never really took that step forward into being a tier one team to compete for like championships or tournament wins. For five straight years, Team Spirit bounced between being a strong tier three organization and a middle of the pack tier two team. Dreams of playing at TI, the landmark event of the Dota calendar year, were way out of reach for an organization like Spirit. Throughout that half decade, they'd uncover and develop promising talent, but the powerhouses of their region in Nottis Vincere, Virtus Pro, Gambit Esports, and the like would swoop in to pry the potential stars away. Plenty of new faces came and went, but Team Spirit's position in the pecking order of Dota remained unchanged. So in late 2020, almost five years to the day of Team Spirit's entry into Dota, they signed the roster of Yellow Submarine. Finally, you know, they get picked up by Team Spirit, and it just seems like a normal move where it's like Team Spirit's picking up another average team that might do a little bit better than average, but not really go that far. It was just another signing. But this collection of young Russian talent was unlike anything Team Spirit had seen under their banner before. They were winning Tier 3 competitions with ease, claiming Tier 2 titles and proving they could mix it up with the very best. Toronto, Tokyo still chasing and up and a triple kill for the DP. Five heroes dead and GG! Team Spirit will be your champions here at the Pro Series season number four of Europe and CIS. Team Spirit must be really happy as an organization to pick up Yellow Submarine's <laughs> roster. Coming in with a Easy. victory in this tournament. Easy indeed. They must yeah. be really feeling it. They're feeling joyful after this and rightfully so. Viking ain't the easiest team to uh, take down. But Let's they go. did. They did it. But despite Team Spirit's newfound lease on life, they hadn't accumulated enough Dota Pro Circuit points throughout the year to earn automatic qualification to TI. On any day, Team Spirit could look like one of the best teams in the world, but on another day, they could like look like a really horrible team. It was this inconsistency that I think a lot of new teams go through that they were suffering from too. The team's final hope came in the last chance qualifier, where the strongest sides from Eastern Europe would be battling it out for that last coveted spot at Dota's most important event. Aside from dropping a first game to Hellraisers, Spirit made the Grand Finals with ease, but that all-important final series was anything but a walk in the park. The press kit chasing, wanting to find that finish, focusing their attention onto the building. Toronto Tokyo backs away, back. keeps on punching, 
Do they have enough? Smiley Knight, he's dropping low, but the throne will fall. In the end, they did what they needed to do. Empire, take the victory. They can't kill the heroes, but they can kill the throne. The TI-10 Eastern European qualifiers with Team Empire coming up from the lower division. Now just one game away from qualifying for the TI of their lives. Slowly but steadily, the arena comes down again, collapsed. He's been the man this match to take them nice. one by one by one. GG is called, we're going to game five. Team Spirit makes it happen. Maybe not the way everybody expected it to happen but showing that they are indeed one of the dominant teams in this region. Team Spirit had made it. The little Russian team that could had scraped through to the international. Just qualifying was the highlight of these players' careers thus far. And leading up to TI, Team Spirit rode the wave of that success. They took home another Tier 3 title and had impressive showings in back-to-back -back Tier 1 events, but the TI favorites of PSG LGD sent them packing each time. From Faithion, there's the Ravage. Can he get the kill on a Xiao Wei? Oh, Nightmare! Why again? Did he save him? Yes, he did. The Gobble Ups in the Speed Out there. They'll get the kill to collapse as well as Mirror. The Pink Out Tube of the Winter's Curse is finally in. That's going to be on the Shinku. The Call GG LGD are the OGA Invitational Champions. Spirit, well deserved. I'm sure they'll get a lot of praise for this. Maybe, you know, game one especially, they did a great game, two, three, four, it fell apart a little bit. But don't forget the whole lower bracket run they had before. You know, coming into TI, that's going to be a big confidence boost for them. I'm looking forward to seeing more from them, but LGD B Cup, they just do LGD things again. Yeah, and yeah they do. In early October, the top 16 teams in the world were headed for the 10th international, Bucharest, Romania. But upon arrival, Team Spirit's enthusiasm was quickly flattened. And we see that Team Spirit posts this video of them being in this tiny practice room. Like it looks like a college dorm studio. Their chairs are sticking to one another. There's barely any space for their legs. There's no internet apparently, no toilet paper, a whole host of issues. Point is they were not given the best practice rooms. Other teams have better practice rooms. And that tiny cramped room was where Team Spirit had to play their group stage games. Before the event had even started, Team Spirit were already at a disadvantage, and it showed. He's just gone 100 to zero just like that. And there is no buyback on that man. Collapse, he's trying to TP out, but indeed the cookie puts a stop to the escape. Collapse is gone. So is Mira. And ah, they'll call it oh G. G. As right. Team Secret. Game two, it's theirs as well against Spirit. 2-0 within this series. And uh, yeah, both games, things just pulling rapidly apart for, yeah. for Team Spirit in that second half. And they have so much damage. Collapse goes down. They don't manage to finally finish up. Yazuro, he gets taken out. And they'll chase after the Rubik. The GG gets called. Spirit has had enough. Beachy just got spanked by Ori. They did their absolute best to try to win that one at the end, but they just got too far behind. Halfway through the group stage, Team Spirit were among those sitting at the bottom of the tables. And their future at TI was immediately under threat. But Team Spirit, well, they had other ideas. They too owed the Final Four group stage series, completely flipping the table on its head and just barely squeezing into the playoffs. But in their first playoff game, Invictus Gaming sent Spirit straight to the lower bracket. For a lot of people, that signal, oh, this is it for Spirit. We're done. You know, they, they lost IG. Makes sense. They're in the loser's bracket. They're probably going to get eliminated in like one or two rounds. The daunting road of six nail-biting series against world-class opposition stood between them and the Aegis. But Team Spirit went on the lower bracket run of a lifetime. After beating Fnatic, Spirit eliminated OG, the back-to-back -back 2018 and 2019 TI champions. Oh my god, he's just going for the spider legs through! They get the vision! OG, there's nobody left alive, it's only no tail! There's nothing left, and GG is called! Team Spirit end the game, taking down OG! What a Cinderella story here on the main stage! And then they found themselves up against longtime CIS regional kings, Virtus Pro. There it is! It jumps in, they're up to 9 for 9 for he stands no chance at all! And the Luna will fall! King Slayer as well! GG is called! As Team Spirit knock BP out of the competition! Oh man, who would have believed this coming into CI? Team Spirit, 
I don't think they've ever beaten VP in an official before. Next on the chopping block was Invictus Gaming, the team that had knocked Spirit into the lower bracket in the first place. A spirit, they're looking to close it up. James, he's going to go in for one last time with the jump super collapse. Straight over on the Evo. Toronto took out as well. GG is called. Spirit knock on G out of the competition. Team Spirit Inc. They'll get to keep on this incredible run that they're having. The next hurdle was Team Secret, one of the strongest Dota rosters in the world. Oh, they're definitely going to go for this. 100%. It's and over. they're going to call GG. The underdog story is still alive. Team Spirit move on to the Grand Finals. What a performance. Team Spirit, man. Team Spirit's run was arduous, yet with every new challenge, they rose to the occasion. The small underdog side was now just one series away from going down in Dota Legend. And claiming that $18 million prize. But waiting in the shadows of the biggest series of their lives was Team Spirit's own personal boogeyman, PSG LGD. The team that knocked them out of the two events before TI, the team that two owed them in the group stages just 10 days prior. I mean, all eyes was on PSG LGD like this year. And I think to me even, I believe that PSG LGD was the best team in the world till the end. Like they are just perfect on every execution, team play, strategy, drafting. You know, their, their coach is, is one of the most well-regarded Chinese players of all time. As for PSG LGD, well, they'd been in second gear all tournament long, only dropping two games the entire event. The final was theirs to win. But the David and Goliath clash between Team Spirit and LGD had everything fans hoped for in a grand final. And now he's ready to go back in. The song ends. Toronto Tokyo, PKB up, jump over with the remnant, grabs back the Ursa. Arme disappears in a matter of seconds. GQ to fall as well. GG is called. And my goodness, what a buttery smooth start to the grand finals here for Team Spirit. The way they play these fights, they're so in sync with one another. GG oh. is called. They call it a Cinderella story. Well, if the shoe fits, wear it. They Unreal. Look good. And we got a crowd up there. They have been absolutely dominant in this one. 2 0. Unbelievable showing here from this team. And now one game away from being able to raise that Aegis. It's just the three of the Meeples coming down. Oh, man. So far, they turn now into Y, just grip to the side. Oh, oh the my. catch on the collapse. Y's not dying. Nobody's dying. They all fall again as GG Ooh. is called 23 to 3. A statement from LGD. They never came online, quite quite frankly. Like this, this lineup was not allowed to operate in any facet whatsoever for Team Spirit. And it may be even in game score. It's two to two, but uh it, it's not feeling like there's much of a chance right now. Team Spirit's shocking 2-0 lead had evaporated, and the most important event in Dota came down to one single decider game. Back against the wall for both teams. This is like a, the most pressure these people have probably ever been under in their whole lives. Only two left. Can they stop a PSG LGD? I don't think they can. GQ's got his own over. GG, it's over. GG, they've got it. They have got it. Team Spirit. What a road it has been! They take that fanatic OG VP IG secret! And now in a best of five at the grand finals, the international 10, they defeat PSG LGD, arguably the favourites coming into the tournament. What a story, what a road, what a dream here that they've achieved! The spirit! Champions Team Spirit! This group of inexperienced players showed nerves of steel in Game 5 to become the most unlikely of TI champions. Spirit will, will come down in Dota history as probably the best underdog story that we've ever seen. 
Team Spirit became the first Russian org to hoist the Aegis of Champions, and their TI win even earned them some recognition from that country's leader. It was the ultimate underdog run, and regardless of what happens in the future for these players, Team Spirit have already accomplished the unimaginable. 